What is going on YouTube? This is Nate from SGTV and uh, today I'm introducing you guys to my pit bike build. Um, originally, Derek, Fred and I drove like an hour and a half away to go pick up this uh, Pitzer Pro 160cc pit bike. Um, got it for a few hundred bucks and then after the first day of riding it, I blew up the engine. So this first video is going to basically cover some of the more simple stuff. Um, I figured now that I need a whole new engine, I'm going to buy just a complete one off of uh, Pixar Pro's website. But I figured I'd clean off the bike, um, sort of make it my own instead of leaving it as the crappy white plastics that came on it. Um, so this video is going to be all about the plastics, uh, so let's jump into it. Alright, so the theme for this build is going to be sort of spacey-like. Uh, my KX250F has Galaxy Graphics already on board, and so I sort of wanted something to kind of go along with that. If you uh, look up on YouTube, like spray paint, space art, or something like that, it should come up pretty easily, and you can watch a bunch of different videos on that. So I basically practiced with that on uh, just white poster board, and then when I felt comfortable enough, I moved it to the plastics. Alright, so first we're going to go ahead and take a look at the front fender. Um, basically what I did for this was just spray paint it entirely black and on the underside of all those spray paint um, plastics I did I have just a sort of matte black um, high heat protection layer. Um, I just think it has like a pretty clean look to it. I like the matte finish on it and this will help a lot with the number plates on the side whenever the uh, exhaust gets really hot. Um, so then basically I just painted it black as you can see as the space and then did white stars over top of that. Alright so just like the front fender the back is sort of the same way I just painted it black sprinkled on some white paint for the stars. Um, this actually came cracked when I got it so I just replaced uh, or I'm sorry I drilled some holes put some zip ties through it and fixed it up and then it has of course the same matte black high protective finish on the bottom um, and then I put maybe five or six coats of gloss coat just so I can uh, power wash it and not have to worry about messing up the design. All right, now the side panels near the gas tank are where things are sort of mixed up. So first, I'll show you this one which has sort of like a uh, earthy like planet on it. Um, and then I did stars in the background. So the way I did this is I just did a few um, layers of spray paint, different colored blues, and then I dabbed off with a uh, magazine, I crinkled up a magazine and then dabbed it, and then I put a uh, spray paint can right on top of it, painted the rest around it black, and then did the star splatter, and uh, this was the result. Okay, so that one was my first attempt at doing this sort of space-themed planet thing on the uh, actual plastic, so it didn't turn out exactly how I liked, but uh, once I got more comfortable with it, I tried to do a red giant star. So this one on here is a red giant star, as you can tell, same method as before, um, different yellows, oranges, reds and a little bit of black and a little bit of brown and then I dabbed it off the crinkled magazine put a larger can over it and so it came out like this alright guys so basically um, this is the front number plate I forgot to show it when I was originally recording so here I am a few hours after uh, Derek and I went to go drop Brandon off and now he's back down in my yeah. house so this is the uh, front number plate I did like a rainbow with a sort of red splatter and I did yellow splatter up where it's red and then I uh, put down the Supreme sticker but it actually didn't stick on because I used like really crappy. It wasn't an actual Supreme sticker. It was one I made it with didn't vinyl. Work as this yeah, so it didn't work, and so I had to peel it up. Uh, but it actually left like the clean rainbow underneath. So if you're looking like really closely, you can still see Supreme, which I actually think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, this is the front license. Front license. <laughs> <laughs> this is the front number plate. <laughs> Alright, so the only two plastics that I have left to actually paint are the two side number plates. Um, the fork guards, I also did just the black with the white specks to show the stars. Um, so I think what I'm going to do with these is maybe do a planet on one, um, try to get some different colors, maybe more like a yellowish instead of like a red, um, or like a purpley instead of a blue, and then do shooting stars on the other one. So I'll take you guys through that right now and show you how to do it. Alright guys, so here I have the two plastics I will be painting. Um, I'm wearing rubber gloves, just uh, nitrite gloves, just so it uh, makes it a lot easier to clean up. Once I'm done, I can just take off the gloves, don't have to worry about washing my hands a whole lot. So uh, let's get into this. I'm going to start off by uh, spray painting this one, just all black. This is the paint I'm using. It's um, Krylon Color Max 
paint and primer. Now I already have the primer on here. These used to be white. I sanded them a little bit. As you can see, there's still some residue, but after a few coats of paint, it should be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a nice thick black coating. All right, so I have a coat of black on it. Now I'm gonna try to use this stuff. I just found this in my garage and spray little bits of white on it like that in order to get like a shooting star effect. I haven't actually done this before, so I don't know how it will turn out. So here we go. It didn't quite turn out like I wanted it to, but overall, I don't think it's that bad. Um, I mean, it still looks cool, so I guess for the next one I'm going to try to do another planet instead. I'm going to try to do like a sort of yellowy, maybe purple too. So we'll go ahead and do that one now. Okay, now for these, you always want to start with the lighter colors first, so I'm going to go ahead and take a white and just make a nice uh, sort of circle on there. So now I'm going to take my yellow, just get a little sprit, then I'll take my purple sort of lay some more on there. And what I think I might do is actually add just a little bit of black on top to try to get some more texture on it. So we take a magazine, we crinkle it up, spread it back out. If you want, maybe I'll add a little bit more yellow. Then we lay this over top. Go ahead, peel it off. Yeah, so that didn't turn out sort of how I wanted it to. I'm gonna do it again. All right, so to finish this off, I'm gonna do just a little bit of yellow on top to give it a tint. Then we're gonna take our spray paint container that we don't really wanna use. Actually, we're gonna use a bigger one. So then I'm going to be using this uh, little paint container. I'm just going to rest this on here. Really hope it stays. Okay, so what I did was I just had to hold it in place for a bit because um, it's on an angle, so it really wasn't working with me there. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and take our white again and do some stars. I went ahead and did a little bit of black to make sort of a shadowy look. And usually if you can keep on something to cover the planet, you're going to want to keep that on while you do the stars. But since I had to hold it, I wouldn't be able to do this without it. You can see we have sort of like some shooting stars and then just normal stars. And then the other one here, we have almost like a yellowish moon with just stars surrounding it, and you can see I put in the uh, little shadow here. So it looks more like a moon. I actually think it turned out pretty cool. Um, not exactly how I wanted it to be, but overall I don't think it was that bad. Okay guys, so I'm here with Derek. Um, I didn't record an outro either, so we're doing this now while I'm <laughs> editing the footage. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, drop a like, leave a comment. Um, if you have any suggestions for different parts or uh, ideas to put on the pit bike let me know and pretty soon I'll have the new yeah. engine in so we'll get a nice video of that um, I'll do a video of me like polishing the frame and, and making the bike look brand new we'll be ready to take it out for a pit bike ride so stay tuned for some wheelies so I'm not really sure um how many parts this video is going to be I'm going to try to keep it to under 10 minutes in length just so it doesn't really like drag on too long um I'm also going to try my best to make videos as soon as I get the parts available for it, like not have the engine sitting around in my garage for an entire month before I actually make a video of it. Um, so yeah, stay tuned to that. Also, we're going to do the outro a little bit different for this pit bike build. Um, I'm not going to do a previous video on this one, and then the next pit bike video build I do, I'll do an outro linking you guys back to the very first one, 
and so on. So it's not going to um, have a previous video that sends you to a vlog instead. It's going to be all within this uh, pit bike project build. One, within one playlist. Yeah, one playlist. So that'll be nice. So stay tuned if you want to see the uh, cinematic.